Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss difference between batch reactor CSTR and PFR. So let's see what is the difference between batch reactor CSTR that is a continuous stirred tank reactor and PFR that is a plug flow reactor. So, chemical reactors vary widely in size, shape and in the method of operation. But there are three basic reactors used in the chemical industry. Which are batch reactor, continuous stirred tank reactor that is CSTR and plug flow reactor that is PFR. So let's see the difference between these three basic reactors. So batch reactor consists of a vertical cylindrical vessel equipped with an agitator or stirrer for stirring the contents. It is also provided with either an external jacket or cooling coil or both for heating or cooling the reactor contents. CSTR that is a continuous stirred tank reactor is a vertical cylindrical vessel equipped with a mechanical stirrer and provision for heat transfer. CSTR is also called a back mix or mixed flow reactor. PFR that is plug flow reactor is a single continuous long tube or several tubes arranged parallel. It is also provided with either jacket or shell and tube type design for heat transfer. Then in a batch reactor the reactants are charged at the beginning into a container left to react for a certain period in the reactor under certain agitation during which no material is fed or removed from it and the resultant product mixture is withdrawn at a subsequent time. In CSTR reactor, reactants are introduced and the product mixture is withdrawn simultaneously in a continuous manner due to which certain pool of reaction mixture is always maintained in it. In PFR reactants enter at one end and the product mixture leaves from the other end. In batch reactor, the extent of reaction that is conversion and properties such as temperature and composition changes with time. But at any instant of time, the composition is uniform throughout the reactor zone. In CSTR contents are well stirred, so that the properties of reaction mass, such as temperature and composition, are uniform throughout and hence the exit stream from the reactor has the same composition as the fluid within the reactor. In PFR, there is no mixing in the direction of the flow and there is complete mixing in the radial direction. Hence in the axial direction, the elements of fluid of the reaction mass independent of each other. That means each one has different composition and temperature. And such type of flow pattern is called plug flow. Therefore in a plug flow reactor, the extent of reaction, temperature and composition may vary with the position in the reactor. The batch reactor operates under unsteady state conditions. But CSTR and PFR normally run at a steady state. A batch reactor is used small scale operation. But CSTR and PFR can be used for large scale operation. Then, batch reactor and CSTR are used for liquid phase reactions. And PFR is mostly used for gas phase reactions. A batch reactor is simple in construction. CSTR and PFR are complex in construction. The batch reactor is simple to operate and has the flexibility of operation. CSTR offers greater constancy in operating conditions and hence offer greater constancy in the quality of the products. PFRs are relatively easy to maintain as there is no moving parts. In a batch reactor, high conversion can be obtained by leaving the reactant in the reactor for long periods. 
but the disadvantage is it required high labor cost per batch then variability of products from batch to batch and the difficulty of large scale production then in CSTR conversion of reactant per unit volume of the reactor is small hence to obtain a high conversion consequently very large reactors are required in a plug flow reactor the highest conversion per unit volume of the reactor can be obtained in the batch reactor the initial cost is quite low and the operating cost is high in CSTR and PFR initial cost is quite high and the operating cost is low CSTR and PFR required little supervision and well suited for automatic control the batch reactor can be used for testing new processes that have not been fully developed for the manufacture of expensive products and for processes that are difficult to convert to continuous operations CSTR can be operated under isothermal condition even when the heat of the reaction is high in a plug flow reactor for exothermic reactions it is difficult to control the temperature and hot spots can occur CSTR cannot be used for high pressure reactions because it requires a large wall thickness and complex sealing arrangements for agitator which increases initial and maintenance cost PFR can be used for high pressure reactions because of cost considerations as it uses small diameter tubes CSTR is not suited for reactions with a very high heat of reaction due to low area heat transfer is available per unit volume and low heat transfer coefficients PFR can also be used for reactions with the high heat of reaction as the rate of heat transfer per unit volume of the reaction mixture is high for batch reactor mole balance equation in differential form is dna by dt is equal to rev and an in integral form is t is equal to integration from na1 to na0 of dna by minus ra into v then for cstr mole balance equation in algebraic form is v is equal to fa0 minus fa divided by minus ra then for pfr mole balance equation in differential form is dfa by dv is equal to ra and integral form is v is equal to integration from fa1 to fa0 of dfa by minus ra so that's all about difference between batch reactor cstr and pfr in the next video we will discuss another topic if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda